My name is Kevin. I'm presenting for Team Four today. A study spot when all other spots are taken. Our our product is called the Travel Desk, and that's what we're going to be going over today. This presentation covers the concepts, metrics, and logistics of our product. The concept is going to go over the the interviews and the data collected from those interviews. From that, with that data, we're going to go to the metrics and. With, with the data, we're going to kind of make the dimensions with the, the customer needs and our engineering characteristics. And finally, finally the logistics um, is the economic analysis and the game chart. The travel desk came from a need for students to stay productive in between classes. So I know all too well the pain, I'm sure many other students know the pain of walking into Newman Library or walking into their study spot and all the all the tables being taken and, and just not having a place to study <clears throat> the goal of this product is to be able to provide the student with options so they can go uh, to many other places where they may have a spot to study and still be productive be be comfortable and, and be efficient while they work um, so the big takeaways that we're trying to get at is the is the adjustable height and the uh, wide tabletop and still being lightweight enough to be being able to carry around easily. So this is our customer profile. This kind of identifies the uh, perfect customer, perfect ta target customer for our product. So this is a college student, uh, a Virginia Tech college student. His name is Daniel Simpson. Uh, 20 years old, he's single, uh, and he works at night. Um, when he's not at school, he's working out. He's on the he's on the mountain bike, staying active. Uh, he owns an iPhone, and he has a laptop for school. So he's just the run of the mill regular college student. The college students are the target customers. The travel desk can help many other people. So the basic flow we've already been over it is the Virginia Tech student. Secondly, can be the business person. Um, could be on a trip and in the airport layover. It can be a very busy airport, and he cannot find. Maybe all the tables are taken. He can find a chair, though I'm sure, and he can use that travel desk to stay productive. Uh, be be able to fill his time with the work that he needs to get done. Uh, thirdly, is the family on a cross country trip. The kids are in the back. Uh, they still have. They still have schoolwork to do. Uh, they're able to get that schoolwork done before they even get to their destination because of the travel desk. Uh, they can they can get their work done and comfortably because of the adjustable legs on our product. The customer. So after so after the interviews, uh, we collected the data from it, and we're we're just kind of we're going to highlight the uh, the big points that we got from. The interview so the customers wanted something comfortable and lightweight and strong so they could they could uh, get work done efficiently uh, so the first one we cover is it uh, it being comfortable to work on this kind of correlates with a couple of them it being lightweight is important when carrying around adjustable height is another one so you can adjust it to your own personal height and being able to just stay comfortable while you're getting your work done Strong and durable is another one. People don't want to be riding on the tabletop and just fall over or it break. And one that we didn't really see coming, but it's definitely something I want to mention, is the thermal conductivity. A lot of times the laptop can get hot. The fans can start running after um, some time. It can be um, uncomfortable. So we're going to try to find a material that's, that has low thermal conductivity. So it's just improving the experience for our customers. So after analyzing the interpreted needs, it was clear what char characteristics were more valuable to the user. So we're going to just hit the top five. It's uh, comfortable to work on. The second one is that it's lightweight so they can carry it around easily. And it's being strong and durable. And all these things we kind of we kind of hit on. To the, to the right is our correlation table. We have our engineering characteristics. Uh, kind of these three are kind of like the dimensions and later on we have the durability test uh, the thermal thermal uh, conductivity and then of course the total weight we're going to go through the lightweight 
row real quick just to kind of get has a good spread of different correlation levels. So the first one is the number two. The tabletop width is about two when it comes to the, when comparing to the how lightweight it is. Obviously, the bigger the tabletop is, the heavier it's going to heavier it's going to be because it's just more material. So it has a little bit to do with it, but not a crazy amount. Uh, secondly, is the uh, maximum load the desk can withstand. I feel this is more of a structural design problem than just adding more weight to it. I feel that if we can get the right design down, we're not going to have to add a bunch of material for for it to just hold weight. Next is the, t the table. The total weight obviously is directly correlated uh, to how lightweight the product is. The maximum height, total weight, and product thickness will be the most difficult challenges to overcome. So looking at this, this is the second half of our QFD. We have the difficulty ranked, and uh, just overall, the maximum height and product thickness are kind of correlated because the higher this product is, the harder it's going to be going to be able to fold and compact. So the higher it is, the thicker this product is going to be, and we don't want it to take up too much of the bag or whatever the, the student is carrying it around with. And then the total weight, again, is a, is a balancing act, trying to get it durable enough, but not too heavy to where it's, it's just cumbersome to carry around all day. This is our economic analysis. The first break even point, so where we start making money, we start making money at 432 units, and from there we cannot pass 1,356. 1,356 units, or we're going to start losing money, and the maximum profit is around six, 862 and 863 units. These are actually the same. These two numbers get the same maximum profit, which is $4,878.12. And the way we got these two um, units as our maximum price, which is not uh, common, is from every every the unit sold, we're going to drop a penny off the price, and the goal here is to just make it more affordable for a college student who probably doesn't have a lot of money. This is our Gantt chart. This is very important when, when staying on task and just staying organized as a group. So the team use parallel and couple tasks to maintain an efficient workflow. So in summary, there is a need for this product, and it will be successful. The need is proved through the interviews, the customer profile, success is going to be proved through the economic analysis, the execution of it, and a thorough design process. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.